And they did regrading, what they call regrading, in, in quite a few places. I've really only found it in the USA. But basically, what they were doing was regrading, right? They were, they were changing the levels of the cities. And so this is, these are all from Seattle. So this is 1914. Steam shovel digs on Marion Street during the 6th Avenue regrade. And this is what they were doing. You can see there's a house up here and a big building up here. I'm not sure where the foundations are for this. Maybe behind this mud wall. Um, and they were basically changing all the levels. And there's literally pictures you might see somewhere that they would go to a house and they would say that they, they were digging the dirt from underneath and they would lower the house down. It's very strange stuff. Uh, here we have like a wooden train, and I'm not sure what's going on here. There might be train tracks in here, but it looks like it's just sitting on a bit of track. Maybe that's the end of the track. The end of the line. Um, got a an old broken wheelbarrow here and a few bits and pieces, but this went on uh, in quite a few different cities. Here's another one. Now, this one, what do you think's going on here? Look at this bridge, right? It, it seems to, you know, be a bit short, right? And it seems that, it, it, you know, its foundations may be way down under the ground. So is this actually, this regrading, is this actually clearing out the mud from some kind of inundation? What do you think? Because when we look around, We've got lot, lots of rubble here, right? We've got bits of wood and, and rock, and that looks like a brick. Um, not sure what this is here, but, you know, some more brick-looking things. You know, and, and you can see the rubble coming down here, like smashed up rocks or bricks. So, but this bridge, right, it looks like it should be a lot taller, right? It looks like the pillars should be down here somewhere. So they call this regrading. This was obviously 1912 using their steam shovels. But what do you think? Do you think this may actually be clearing out the mud and, and you know, regrading, re-leveling the city so they could, you know, start to use it again? And they didn't, clearly, they didn't go all the way to the bottom because we still have, you know, mud-flooded, what we're calling mud-flooded buildings. And here's another shot. So you can see the level of mud that they have taken down. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can see in the background here, all these houses up on the hill. And look at this big chunk, right? Just sitting there and a house down below. So it looks like, and again, I don't, you know, this house doesn't look like it was completely buried and they've uncovered it, who knows, but um, it may have been lowered down. Like they tell us some of them were lowered down. I'm not sure if that's possible or not, but they're pretty interesting photos, right? Uh, they're getting in here and they're completely giving new levels to the whole city. And, I mean, this is 1912 and it's pretty built out. You can see some big structures up on the hill here. I'm not sure. You can't see these whole buildings. They could be could be newer, could be older. <clears throat> uh, here we go again. So see this house here. See how you can see underneath it? This is one of the houses that they, they say that they were lowering down. So basically they say that it would have been sitting up on a level like this and they get in and they dig underneath and slowly lower it down to a different level. I mean, I'm not sure if that's even possible. It's got another house here sitting in front of this big you know, mound of dirt. And then again, this is 1912. We've got some pretty big multi-story buildings in the background here, right? in Seattle. So we can see the level of tech. It's all steam shovels, hand shovels, wheelbarrows, not many workers. Oh, and this, okay, so this is, um, they used to use it for mining as well. It was called hydro mining. This is basically a big water hose. And this is what they were using as well to lower these houses, right? They'd wash away the dirt. So this was a big part of what was going on. These actually got outlawed because they were doing so much damage when people were using them for mining. They were just destroying whole hills and and things like that. Just what's that? That's a little interesting. I don't know if that's buried or not. 
Um, and here we go again, right? These houses, man, just sitting up. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? And it seems to be sitting on mud. We've got a pile of, I'm not sure if that's wood or bricks down there. And even down the bottom here, you can see we've got all this mud and the house level's way up here. But down here we have a paved road. All right, so again, it's looking like they were uncovering things, like they were actually getting rid of the mud that had gone, you know, it, it covered everything basically during some kind of deluge. So it, these are very interesting pictures, I find. I haven't really worked out exactly what's going on here. And not many workers, right? <laughs> you think there'd be workers everywhere doing this. Um, and this could just be mud layering. I'm not sure. It could be some kind of foundation. They've shored up the little balcony here with some long bits of wood. But where are the foundations for these houses? They, they look wooden. So that, you know, they wouldn't need huge foundations, but I mean, pretty weird, right? Pretty weird. So this is 1905, seven years beforehand. So they were doing this for quite a while. The Denny Hotel, later called Washington Hotel, stands on the south summit of Denny Hill before being torn down, of course, right? Love to tear these down, but look at this place. And this one you can see. This is the level of the mud. You can see this clearly goes down lower. And, I've, you know, this would need a huge foundation. So it's going down. It looks like there's more foundations down here. And then the rest is covered by mud. Then we have these houses going down the hill, you know, San Francisco style. And, you know, if you look at these, these big masonry, very well built you know, uh, with, you know, very nice sort of facading and, and stuff all over them compared to these little wooden shacks. All right, again, it's showing us two different types of tech, two different levels of tech. So, I would, you know, in my opinion, this is what was found and this is what they, they could build. So completely different. In the front here, we have another big, masonry building and of course out in the back all these houses these are all at different levels so i'm not you know might have just been hilly but but you can just see the amount of mud here and dirt that they're trying to clear out and again down the bottom here under that level like the level's way up here and it looks like it's a bit of a hill but down the bottom here we have what looks like a a paved road or you know cement or some kind of road that may have been there you know beforehand right that they may have uncovered this so let me know in the comments what do you think what do you think about all this what was really going on here uh denny hill seattle 1910 as uh they slowly wash away by powerful water cannons so these are the water cannons I was talking about before and they just basically wash this mud away and is this why we why we get all these photos that look like you know streets covered in mud that sort of looks like it's flowing right were they going into cities and, and using these water cannons to get rid of all the mud and wash it away basically you know because we do see a lot of photos that kind of look like that's what may have happened and Again, look at all the rubble in this mud. Uh, there's stones and bricks and bits of wood, all types of weird stuff. But clearly this was a level at one, at one time. You can see how flat it is on the top there. And that's a lot of mud. Nice house here. And that may have been one of the ones that they, they dropped down with the water cannons. 1907, West... Uh, looking west down Spring Street. And again, looks like we've got lower levels here already. All right, so now these photos do sort of look like they're washing stuff away. Look at this building. You can see the mud it's coming up here, but clearly this building goes, you know, a couple of stories at least lower. 
So it really does look like that may have been what they were doing, just clearing all the, the mud and the debris from a previous deluge. And you can see, you know, the level of tech they've got here, you know, it's all hand tools, basically. They've got water cannons and steam shovels, but apart from that, it's all hand tools. But they were building these big masonry buildings, apparently. And, of course, it looks like we've got a couple of controllers walking around here. Um, next one, 1907. Using their horses, horse and cart. This is the level of tech at the time, wooden carts drawn by horses. I'm not sure what that is. What do you think that is? It kind of looks like cables maybe. I don't know. Bits of iron. Doesn't look like wood. You can see we've got some of them the circles down here. So is this all stuff that was uncovered, that was buried? Because, you know, they come along and, and they're all their level of tech is wood. They're just building wood gangplanks and stuff. We've got a steam shovel here. Uh, and they're just using all these horses to, I guess, take away all the debris, right? Because when you uncover it all, the, the, mush, the mud would wash away, but not the debris. So it looks like that's what they're doing here, hauling it all off. And again, you know, look at this building here. We've got three buildings above ground. We've got a couple of mud flooded windows here. And then we have foundations going or extra levels, I'm not sure, but something going down underneath that level of mud. More brick buildings here. And you see this a lot, that the um, the wooden um, sidewalks, right? Pretty interesting. It looks like there's even like a little canal here. That could just be the, the mud that they've washed away, I'm not sure. But again, it looks like there's lower levels. And look at this pipework. Okay, look at that big crack there. So are they being uncovered? Because they'll probably tell us that they were laying them. But it looks like they may have been there already. And they're, they're uncovering, literally uncovering the old world. 1907, Third Avenue, north of Ma Marion, Marion Street, is flattened out in the first Denny regrade. So here we go. This is what they were doing. Hand tools, horse and cart. They're building these stairways down to the new level. But as you can see, we've got, got these massive buildings. This one looks like it's half torn down. But look, big church here, or, you know, church-looking building, cathedral, oversized. So, you know, another question would be, why would they be building these huge buildings and then, you know, I mean, this is 1907. These are probably, you know, 1800s is probably what they'll tell us. So why would you build that and then decide that you're going to level the city afterwards? Like, wouldn't you get it flat first? I don't know. Another house here just teetering on the edge of a big mud cliff. But clearly there were some big buildings here already, uh, big masonry brick buildings. And this in the background, it, again, it looks, you know, like it's been smashed up a bit. And, you know, we know, right, these, these cities, they tell us, were founded, but I believe they were found. Another one from 1907. Look at this pipework. Does that look like new pipework? like new bits of pipe that are ready to be, you know, laid underground? Or does that look like something that's been underground and recovered, you know, exposed when, as they go down the layers? That's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, now this, look at this. Clearly a big masonry building. So what's going on? Are the foundations all under here covered up? You know, and this is looks like it's sort of one story at the moment. Is that now a three-story building? I'm not sure. I haven't been to Seattle yet. Sounds cold, but I may get there. Uh, and here we go, more more pipe work. So this, you know, this does look fairly new. This could be what they're laying down. But these other ones uh, from the last picture, oh, no, this picture, apart from the fact they're different, 
Uh, these are wider and obviously shorter. These look like they're pretty old, right? Like they've been buried for a while. And if that's true, then who buried them? You know, how are they uncovering them? And again, just rubble everywhere, right? I mean, look up here. There's just stuff everywhere. So why would you regrade a town? Okay, here's one of the houses on the hills. Oops. And you can see we've got the water cannon. And the story is that they slowly wash away this mud and literally lower these houses down to a new level. So is that possible? Don't know, because we can see this house. It's, you know, this is a wooden house, obviously. And it's just sitting on, it, on its floor rafters, basically. It needs to be restumped as they go along. And this is full of rock, like big rocks, this one. So interesting, you know, part of our, our story, right? Interesting history that all this stuff, and they're telling us they were literally re-leveling stuff. Look at this. So what are they doing? Are they building? Because you can see the scaffolding. Are they building buildings at the same time that they're lowering the land level? Because that doesn't make sense. Or is this maybe an older building that they're reclaiming and, you know, refurbishing? And, of course, we have the, the hat men up here watching the handiwork go on as they uncover the world, right? And steam trains, you know, they, and these tracks are just laid on mud, we're told, or are these, again, were these uncovered and then just reused? Because trains, man, there's train tracks and the trains. It's an interesting story, that one. In the 1800s, they were literally like running these big old, you know, the big old iron steam engines. They were running them off bridges or crashing them into each other. You know, just, I mean, you can imagine the amount of time and effort it would go into building one. And then they just start destroying them all. So it's almost like they, they found a lot of them. So many that they could just destroy them, right? Uh, here's another one of the regrade. And it's just, a, it's, they're just weird photos. You can see in the background again, huge buildings already there. This, I'm not sure what's going on there. Obviously, it's not the best picture. I've got water hose in the, in the foreground by the looks of it. Water cannon. Washing the mud away. Remains of Denny Hill. More water cannons. And that's what they were doing. They were just blowing this mud, right? Turning it into rivers of mud and um, lowering the whole thing. Got a house here that looks like it's, again, needs some foundations. That looks like it needs a roof. Can't quite see. And in the background, Big, you know, very big buildings. But the thing is that there's houses and buildings everywhere. So, you know, who designed this place and who decided after they'd built it that they were going to lower the levels? You know, it's pretty, pretty strange. Uh, again, leveling streets in Seattle. Right, just washing it all away or maybe uncovering what is underneath. <laughs> 